Hello everyone, Frosty here and welcome to my Legacy Peace Starter Guide. If you haven't seen, Legacy Peace is the newest One Piece game going around Roblox. It's pretty decent in my opinion. It's got its issues and bugs, but hopefully they'll be ironed out. So without further ado, let's get started. If you go to Customization, then Spin Menu, you can spin for your race. Currently the available races are Human, Skypean, Fishman, Mink, and Oni. I'll show on screen what each of them do. The questing system is very basic. There will always be a marker around the map showing you where your next available quest is. With the quest active, more likely than not, there will be another marker showing you where the quest needs you to go, unlike this Arlong quest. It is also worth noting that a majority of quests are repeatable. In order to get a ship, you need to talk to a ship guard NPC. From there, a menu will pop up, allowing you to purchase a ship. To spawn your ship in, you'll want to click the arrow to the left of the close button. Here, you can then spawn in your purchased ships. There are log poses on every island. On the starter island, you can find Fusha log pose as well as Alvita log pose here. Every island forward will have the next island's log pose on the dock near the ship guard. The combat system is fairly easy. Easier if you have a fruit in combination with either a fighting style or weapon. You'll want to hold space during your M1 combo to do an up tilt, of which you'll want to cycle a move and repeat. Doing this, you can essentially infinite combo anyone. As of this video, there are 9 fruits with 3 different rarities. You have Legendary at 1% with Mera, Hay, and Paw. You have Rare at 20% with Wax, Weapon, Diamond, and Bomb. You have Common at 75% with Spin and Chop. When it comes to where fruits spawn, I have yet to get it down to a science. However, it's safe to say they only spawn under trees. Obviously. Though it's a mystery to me if it is quite literally any tree, but from the fruits that I've found, I seem to have noticed a trend where it looks like they spawn closer to points of interest. The first island is Fusha Island at level 0 to 15. The bosses here are Higuma with a 35% chance to drop Higuma Katana and Boraxis who drops nothing. East of Fusha is the second island, Alvita Island at level 15 to 25. The bosses here are Lieutenant Ko with a 100% chance to drop Alvita's key and Alvita who has a 15% chance to drop Alvita's hat which gives 25 HP and Iron Mace at 10%. You can become a pirate at Alvita by talking with the notable pirate NPC located here. North of Alvita is the third island, Shellstown, at level 25 to 40. The bosses here are Held Mappo, who drops nothing, and Axe and Morgan, who has a 10% chance to drop Metal Jaw, which gives 40 HP and his axe at 5%. You can also learn Geppo at Shellstown by talking with the Geppo trainer located on the second floor of the Marine Jail. You can become a marine at Shellstown by talking with the marine NPC located here. North northeast of Shells is the fourth island, Shimatsuki Island at level 40 to 50. The boss here is the Yeti with a 9% chance to drop Frost Coat which gives 75 HP and 30 stamina and Frost Blade at 3%. You can cheese the Yeti boss by going to the left of his arena, jumping up onto the wall, and placing yourself right above his head as shown here. Northwest of Shimatsuki is the 5th island, Orange Town, at level 50 to 65. The bosses here are Babji, who drops nothing, and Bojay and Richie, of which Bojay has a 5% chance to drop his whip. You also have Buggy the Clown, with a 10% chance to drop Buggy's hat, which gives 60 HP, Buggy's cape, which gives 50 HP and 15 stamina at 7%, and Buggy's knife at 4%. South-southwest South of Orange is the 6th island, Barate, at level 65 to 80. Here you can find Sanji who teaches you black leg fighting style for 1k belly and the boss Don Mrig who has a 2% chance to drop Daisenso. The second island north of Brade is the 7th island Meek Island at level 80 to 95. 
The bosses here are Wolfram, who drops nothing, and Rogue Mint Guardian, which has a 5% chance to drop Oni's Spear. Here you can also learn Electro Fighting Style by talking with the trainer for 1k belly. South of Meek is the 8th Island Arlong Park at level 95 to 99. The boss here is Arlong, who has a 1% chance to drop Kiribachi. This is the last island in the game so far. There is one sword style island which is east from Shellstown and here you can get one sword style and its quest for 1k belly by talking to Selfin, gym trainer. There is hockey island south from Fusha and here you can get hockey for 2.5k belly by completing a quest for the ex shogun Daichi. And that's about it for my starter guide for Legacy Peace. The game does have a Trello which has even more information than what I've shared with you all today which you can find in the description as well as their Discord server. If you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, it is much appreciated. Till next time, peace.